Hey guys, my name is Preeti and I'm up on Crafty Scrapper's channel for my DT kit review video. This month's kit was unique and special because Crafty Scrapper's launched their card kit. It comes in a box and as you can see the box is quite thick and it's filled with amazing goodies. April is the birthday month for Crafty Scrapper's and this is the birthday gift they have given us. First, I have these tiny bottles of shimmer and dazzle paste. The difference between the two is that shimmer paste is glittery, but dazzle paste is not. Crafty Scrappers has 22 colors of shimmer paste and 8 colors of dazzle paste. You will see me use Sonoma shimmer paste later on in this video. The size of shimmer paste you get in this card kit is smaller than the regular jar. The big reveal for April for us at Crafty Scrappers is the release of Crafty Scrapper's ink pads. As you can see, the size is jumbo. This is a felt-based ink pad and this was in making for a long time and I'm so happy that the release is finally here. Let me show you that you don't need to create swatches simply because the true color of the ink pad is there on the cover itself. These ink pads are easily stackable and the instructions to use them is printed on the back side of the of the box itself so these premium water reactive dye ink can be used for stamping ink blending and ink transfer i received eight colors in my kit i will make a separate video showing you all the techniques you can do with these multi-purpose ink pads now let's move on to this cute card by crafty scrappers this is a thank you card then we have these paper strings hand picked by konica in pastel shade these are such lovely colors very much in fashion these days these strings are available only in the card kit uh, then we have two these two cute super cute birthday cards they are versatile i love the sentiments like happy cake and candles day uh, i think they will go very well with with any birthday card. You can buy the stamp set separately if you want to. You also get this coloring card set along with the kit. It is not to be sold separately. Now this is high quality paper that allows watercolor to remain on the paper for a long time making it easier for ink blending or even water coloring. It has cute numbers and a few other designs and you can see critters are a running theme throughout the card kit. I had my birthday in March and it was so sweet of Konika to send me this birthday card. I think she has gorgeous coloring skills. These flowers look so unreal. They are beautiful. Thank you Konika. Thank you for the card kit also because I think these pearls, they are amazing. You'll see me using a, f a few of these pearls in again in this video itself. I think these looked like they came from the sea and the stars there reminded me of starfish. Next we have these papers. Again these papers are a part of the card kit only. The papers are arranged so that they form a set of two. So there's a blue pattern paper and there's a corresponding blue cardstock. So the idea is for you to create your own colorful cardstock and use the pattern paper on that. So there's a whole rainbow of colors right there. Along with this I think my favorite colors here are this white and gold. I mean this gold paper looks so gorgeous and this white paper also has some texture on it. I hope you can see that on camera. These are my favorite papers out of all of them and I will be using them in a later video. You also get two sheets of acetate and two sheets of white paper this is premium white cardstock. Again they can be used for ink blending and stamping. Apart from this, you also get two pieces of masking paper. So uh, that's for the paper. Now we have stencil. This is a party and balloon stencil set. You just you don't get uh, just the negative but also the positive stencils. So they can be used as masks. And I think there can there is a lot of variety of cards that you can make using these stencils. Lastly, I have a paper designer paper pack that I got in this kit. I think this paper pack is simply gorgeous because of the golden accents. I had never seen a die cut paper before, so it was nice to see that. 
and uh, let me just do a flip through of this paper pack for you this is a 6x6 six six paper pack the other crafty scrappers paper pack that you get in this card kit uh, is of 8x8 eight eight. now let me do a sample card for you so any pattern paper that you choose will really be gorgeous anyway so the idea is to get coordinating papers and coordinating designs cut it to your required size I am working on a 6x6 cardstock I'll trim the paper to be a little smaller than my 6x6 card base and now it's time to bring out the ink pad Peacock color is actually one of my favorite colors I believe it's a beautiful combination of blue and green so I'm just using it to dab a little bit around the corners because it goes so well with the base color of my pattern paper here as you can see it sort of frames my paper and it looks makes it look so much more antique and complete the key to creating a shabby chic card is creating a lot of layers so the the card base already has a lot of things going on with the rows with the frame with a strip of paper right there what you can do is you can actually cut out all these elements and place them again so that you have a little more dimension going on on your page but I'm going for a simpler look so I'm just going to add another layer of paper frame it with a more orange color I believe orange and or the pe peacock blue they make a lovely combination both of them I think they look elegant together and and they sort of have a rustic look while you see me assemble this card I just want to let you know that all the supplies used in this card video are listed in the description box below don't forget to check out crafty scrappers blog for this month's challenge and this elegant card is ready with minimum effort let's move on to card number two for this I am using this gray cardstock that came in the card kit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out a die cut circle and inside this die cut circle I am going to create a scene so this Sonoma shimmer paste is one of my favorite colors it looks a little like sand and I think the glitter in it will make it so realistic what I like to do is I like to swirl the shimmer paste around simply because I want everything inside to be mixed properly before I use it so this is well mixed and now I will just create a sort of seashore I hope this looks like sand when it dries now let's create the sky and for this I initially thought of dabbing the color around but I wanted a more smooth sky so I'm going to use this ink pad as I as if it was watercolor this will make it smooth and also from one ink pad itself I think you get multiples of colors I'm yet to experiment with these colors but I'm very sure that these inks will surprise me as you can see there are multiple shades of blue in my sky finally I added a coat using one of these ink pads also I wanted to add this cute little hippo just because he looks so super cute and he looked like he belonged there just having fun on the beach I'm doing some water coloring using this ink pad itself finally to complete the scene I'm going to add a few birds small details like these make a lot of difference when completing a card you will also see me add cute little black eyes on the hippo because I think that made him look complete I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more crafty content stay tuned <laughs>